Hello Capricorn, what's up? Welcome back to the Alice Illuminator. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to see what is going on for you for this week, starting off with a uh, Celtic cross for you. Eight of Pentacles is the card that flies out for you, which is talking about you. Ooh, and a tower was at the bottom of the deck. You might be recovering something or you might need to get back to recover something at work there might have been something that went wrong and now you're trying to resolve it i do see you putting in the right effort and dedicating yourself to recover this problem okay so kind of like a crisis management is what i'm picking up on something that kind of like left you a little bit hurt or left you a little bit like yeah yeah definitely here with the death card and the meditation card for others of you, you might be recovering a, um, a situation that gotten out of hand. There is definitely a transitioning period that is coming in here, which is talking about an ending, which is talking about you working on um, putting an end to an old situation that was chaotic. Okay, like whatever that is, there is something chaotic that happened here and that you're trying to you know, close that out, like close that chapter, close that book and just trying to move forward, trying to gain more perspective, going inwards and doing some reflections upon that. All right. So regardless of anything of this tower, it looks like you're really putting the focus on um, transitioning from a bad situation into a better situation. And it just requires you a little bit more time and effort here. Okay, let's see. What else for, ooh, yeah, Five of Swords. Okay, let's see what your Celtic cross, what are the messages for you? Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. So you may feel definitely betrayed. You may have felt like all your hard work got unnoticed here or someone was trying to sabotage your energy. Someone was trying to block you from... Um, from some type of abundance in your life and the more that you think about things the more that you see how ugly a person is or how ugly their behavior has been or how narcissistic it has been it does feel like the these downloads or these re realizations come after you really put an end on it like the moment you close that door you start to think about things and you're starting to see like damn that person was really nasty or the things that they said was really harmful. So, yeah, these are like pro-traumatic, post-traumatic experiences that you are recalling within, um, within yourself that are also going to help you heal eventually. But don't get hung up too much on, on, this, um, on this energy because someone is trying to um, selfishly get something from you is also what I'm getting here. Anyway, let's see. In the heart of the reading, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Crossing that is the Six of Cups. Where is this coming from is the Four of Cups. In the recent past, the Four of Swords. Crowning you is the Chakra Healer. In the near future, we have the Hierophant. How you view yourself is a two of swords. Outside energies is the five of pentacles. In your hopes and fears is the knight of wands. And the outcome is the eight of cups. So a lot of things have been going on here. I mean, yes, you are in a process of releasing. You are in the process of um, Finding more awareness about what hurt you, what triggered you, or how someone betrayed you. Like, it's it's very simple. And you're definitely going through the healing process. We see that with the Four of Swords. You took your break. Could have been like four days ago or four weeks ago. And you're still kind of like thinking what this person did or how they treated you and what they said. And you're trying to take your time to, um, you know... I'm hearing like time will heal, time will heal all your wounds. 
And it looks like right now you are definitely focused on creating more stability, creating more peace and more harmony within your uh, home life, within your commitment, within your relationship. Um, you know who you can build on, you know who, who is loyal to you and you dedicate yourself to those who are loyal to you. And it feels like there are definitely people that, oh well, it feels like with the Six of Cups blocking this, uh, you really trusted people, you saw the innocence in some people and now you're coming to a realization like, no, they're not that innocent. And also like things from the past may still be haunting you. Uh, you may have a hard time to really close the door, especially if this is a childhood friend or if this is someone that you've been um, around for a very long time. You know them for quite some time and you have a hard time seeing the, the, the way that they've been behaving with the Five of Swords. Where this is coming from is not feeling content, like something within this connection or within this relationship, whatever that relationship is, right? It could be a friendship, it could be a partnership, it could be a co-worker, a family member as well. They left you like empty handed. They left you emotionally empty. Like you felt constantly rejected. You felt constantly like uh, abandoned here and... I feel like this has been like a stretched out period, whereas you allowed things to go on and on and on, uh, try to avoid bringing up like a big chaos here. And eventually spirit or the universe was like, it's time to close the door. And after you close the door, like I said, is when you see the ugly face, okay? Is when, when you start to think and meditate on things and try to gain more clarity on your own and you're starting to realize like the timelines and what has been done and said. Now, right now you are focused on cleansing yourself, clearing yourself, your mental, like your mind, body and soul. You are being asked to do more um, clearing on yourself. We've got the chakra, chakra healer, which is definitely talking about you needing to um, put more focus on clearing all your blocks, okay? Like for you, I feel like your solar plexus chakra could have been very blocked. Uh, maybe this person really triggered your um, confidence energy, confidence level, your self-esteem, as well as your, um, your power to manifest. And I feel like that's something that you may need to really focus on around this time. I see that you're going to be definitely Stay very committed to yourself, stay committed to the connections in your life that really mean a lot to you. Um, I see you really being protective over yourself and your boundaries and not allow people to kind of like cross your limits here. The Hierophant is definitely an indication that your uh, commitments um, to spirituality, to God, as well as your your um, relationship partners or partner or uh, people that you care about are going to be strengthened okay i feel like there's going to be a strengthening of bonds here uh, with the people that are supposed to be in your life right you have the two of swords in how you view yourself so you might be in a phase of like i don't want to see nobody i don't want to talk with nobody i just want to focus on the people that i love or my my uh my own commitments in life and i feel like you're really in this like how do i say that like a peaceful life that you're trying to create without needing a lot of people like you're you're learning to be also alone you're learning to zoom out from people that that you felt like you were attached to like you're disconnecting yourself is what i'm picking up on as well here with the two of swords and i do see that you're you're leaving some people behind that that may be trying to guilt trip you with the five of pentacles uh, there might be definitely people that are going to be acting very sad and nostalgic and be like, you know, guilt tripping you or blame gaming you or trying to pull you into their energy. Um, if that's not the case, there could be also someone in your surrounding that feels quite empty, low at energy and is going through quite some hardship. Uh, I don't know if this is 
it could be both scenarios, right? So I don't know. Let's see, what is Five of Pentacles in your outside energies? Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> like, I felt like the, the, the Lover's card is coming out, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. So yeah, someone that you really love and care about, might be even living together with, uh, someone that you want to see succeed, someone that really cares for you or you care for them, this person feels left out. This person feels um, like they've been abandoned. They, they, they kind of like are licking their own wounds. And I feel like you really do care about them and they care about you. And it, it's like you both need to go through a very heavy period right now. And this brings up a lot of disappointments or it brings up a lot of pain that you both need to heal from someone here could be also going through some financial um, disappointments is what i'm getting but they're gonna get on top of it they're definitely going to get on top of it, but they may have had like a financial loss or a loss of job, loss of house, money, or people. Some of you are planning for a long trip. Some of you are trying to find a new, like you want to travel. I feel like you, you're, you're wanting something new. You want to be a bit more free um, to travel here. And it feels like you may have some restrictions here, but things are going to move forward. Uh, if you've been feeling restricted and getting some type of a job opportunity, Things look a little bit like heavy right now, but there is going to be a solution very soon. So don't allow things to get stuck in your head. There is absolutely a new opportunity that is coming in. You do have other choices in life here, Capricorn. Don't depend on just one choice. I see also like some type of emotional release here. Yeah, don't... I just wanted to see what, what that message was about, about like uh, you have choices, but something bigger and better is coming your path, uh, coming on your path here with the star. Definitely. This is unexpected help, unexpected opportunities, some type of renewal, getting on your, on your path here, on your spiritual path. Okay. This might be a time where you need to go inward, do a lot of reflections, do have some solitude time within yourself. Because you're completing one chapter and you're about to move on to the next one. But there is a transition here. And there's definitely some type of um, dark energy that has been interfering here is what I'm seeing. What is this Five of Swords? What can you tell Capricorn about the Five of Swords? Someone here could be jealous of your independence, of your money, of your commitments in your life, of your financial opportunities. This person may have been very selfish, could be trying to sabotage that. But I feel like you, um, I feel like this is someone that you try to help. You, you try to help getting a job or you try to help um, with gaining more income. This is definitely someone that you try to help independently and this person came came to you with some type of deceit here with the five of swords they wanted more it's like you give them your hand and they want your whole arm type of energy what is the eight of cups for capricorn you have the knight of cups with the page of wands one more and a temperance card. Hmm. 
I feel like for some of you, there is this heavy energy that's lingering, right? And that could be because of all of this that has been going on in the recent past. Because of that, there may have been some type of distance within your connection, within your relationship. Distance when it comes to romance, distance when it comes to excitement, um, like a low libido, low energy. Things in that nature could have taken place because there was like a heavy emotional release. Now, I do see that things are going to be, you know, catching up for the both of you, that both of you need some time. And when you give each other the space and time, the romance as well as the excitement is going to be, you know, be more awakened. But for the time being, focus on releasing this old emotions, releasing this issue that has been uh, between the both of you. OK, don't try to overcome that or don't try to think like okay maybe there's something wrong with the relationship when there's actually just an emotional release that is required and once that has been successfully done you can both kind of like move forward right like um, things will slowly pick up the excitement will slowly pick up you know what to do Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. What is this? It could be in, in regards to this chakra healer, to become a chakra healer, to become um, a trustworthy um, psychic or to become a spiritual healer in some type of sense. For others of you, this might have to do with relationship, with expressing your emotions, with bringing back the happiness into a relationship. Because <clears throat> I feel like this relationship has been, or whatever the connection is, it has been going through some down periods. It has been going through some disappointments. Um, both of you may need it a lot of time. Both of you were going through some type of loss, some type of... Yeah, it's just some type of disappointment in life. And because of that, something here could have became more dull. And you're being asked to kind of like bring back the romance or bring back the, the, the feelings and the emotions back into this relationship without questioning or doubting it. Okay. For Capricorn. Transformation, yeah, I've been, that was the first thing that I said in the beginning of your video. You're transforming a uh, chaotic situation in your life and you're closing the door. And this is going to bring you so much more happiness and fulfillment and joy. Distorted energy, absolutely. Focus on your heart and not your head. Um, there is definitely someone or something that has been trying to eat off your energy in a, in a more negative sense. This is someone that has been trying to distort the energies within the home life or your, your, the energies of peace. And you're definitely being asked to close that door. Light worker, you are in service and inner child. Listen to the voice within. So some of you might be becoming light workers for indigo children or people that... Um, are very vulnerable so make sure that you treat them with respect um, and yeah light worker you're being asked to take some action as a light worker to not just focus on the mundane world but also to focus on how you can transform other people's life because you have a special gift here boundaries I feel like this situation may have taught you to have higher boundaries or better boundaries with people, to say no to people that bring some type of stress or bring some type of um, unnecessary drama your path. And I feel like this has been a beautiful lesson for you to say no um, to people that has been trying to drain your energy. And it says, love yourself enough to say no to others demanding on your time and energy. So yes, 
that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that this message was resonating for you. Let me know in the comments below. And if you need some extended readings, they're all in the description box below or simply at theillustilluminator.com. Don't forget to drop a like and I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.